know that high-risk patients benefit from very low LDL cholesterol levels. And we also know that the lower the LDL cholesterol, the more difficult it is to push it further down, uh, particularly with statins. And so Fourier has shown that with uh, uh, the interfering with PCSK9, one can lower it very effectively um, on top of a statin, and this is associated with a significant benefit in terms of reduction in cardiovascular events in high-risk patients. So would the uh, effect, the size of the effect, had been bigger if uh, the follow-up had been longer? Probably yes. Um, as uh, it happens with statins, uh, uh, it takes a while to develop the full benefit. In the first year, is only about half of the size. Uh, and so continuing the trial for longer would have been probably beneficial in that respect. It would have also been beneficial in terms of safety endpoint. Uh, the safety endpoints are very reassuring in Fourier trial. You know, people say, uh, how, long, uh, how low can you go? And the answer is you can go all the way <laughs> and still uh, have uh, very good safety. But it's only about two and a half years. And so it would have been good to see whether the uh, <coughs> adverse events predicted by the genetic studies, uh, such as a slight increase in the diagnosis of diabetes, uh, would actually emerge on the lower uh, follow-up, on the longer follow-up. The genetic studies that have been done looking at variants of PCSK9 that are associated with a low LDL cholesterol, after all that's how uh, uh, PCSK9 was identified as a target, uh, suggest that uh, uh, low LDL cholesterol uh, in these uh, patients, uh, in, the, in these individuals, is actually associated with a small excess in diabetes and uh, no reduction in stroke. Um, this has also been uh, shown uh, with uh, uh, lowering LDL cholesterol with statins. Um, surprisingly, we have an effect on stroke, which is very good, but we can't really at the moment explain it from a scientific point of view. And uh, the signals on diabetes are null. That probably would require uh, many more patients, but in any case, it's such a small effect that is clinically irrelevant. So I would say that uh, uh, this trial really drives home even further the concept that low LDL cholesterol is beneficial, it doesn't matter how it is achieved, uh, it's safe and overwhelmingly uh, the benefits are far outweigh the potential uh, mostly theoretical risk uh, that one might envisage. This is an expensive treatment. Uh, I think that there is no denying that. Uh, it is probably a treatment uh, that will never be cheap because of the difficulties in producing the antibodies. Uh, I mean, I, I believe in uh, uh, human ingenuity. There will be uh, developments on that as well, I'm sure. Uh, but uh, at the moment, this is a trial for very high risk patients. Uh, the cost is high. Uh, and um, there may be a way of achieving the same results uh, uh, with cheaper methodologies and time will tell.